to be the best of world class in the women's ranks right now, right here tonight at Oklahoma. All three of these ladies certainly looking for a, uh, a victory in this, which would propel them up in the, in the rankings. Oh, did you see? Did you see that? Desi trying to throw in the shirt in the face of Taya. Remember, the Arrow Club's mission statement is to make America native again. And she definitely is one to do so. She is a warrior goddess in her own right. But now look at this. It's almost like they're, are they making fun of her I, for it? I'm, I'm not sure what they were doing there. It did seem to be some sort of a, uh, a, a pairing there of Belle and Valkyrie. Almost like they were Rana. mocking it. They were mocking the traditions there of our ancestors. Well, they're both certainly now physically accosting Desi Dorada. Double Irish whip there, gonna run in. Oh, Dorada breaks through with that, but too late. I couldn't get the arms up for the double clothesline on her own part. And Dorada finds herself on the outside alone, while Valkyrie and Bell stand inside. Again, this is a triple threat match, not a handicap match. As Bell and Valkyrie oh, hold the shake of the hands, and then Valkyrie immediately with a kick to the midsection. That's exactly the type of experience she brings in here. As Valkyrie, she she knows both sides of the uh, rule book, if you will. But she and Bell now trading charges and elbows. Well, aren't they just so special there? Now that oh, running bulldog, that little alliance of theirs is right down the toilet. And the match was almost over right there with Dorada still on the outside. Nowhere to be, where's, where's she gone? I don't even see Desi Dorada right now. Oh, Desi is a warrior. She knows when to take her time. She knows when to strike. And right now is not the opportune time. But she will, don't you worry. All right, well, right now, Taya Valkyrie in full control of this match over Marty Bell. Now I see Desi Dorada down in the bottom portion of our screen, making her way back into the ring. Look at that, picking her spot. She has Taya off balance, off guard. And a spin oh, right, right there. there. Of Taya Valkyrie. See what I'm talking about? Again, you don't want to bet against this woman. You may not know Desi Dorado as well as the other two, but I promise you by the end of this match, you will. Desi Dorado with an absolute mean and vicious streak behind her. As you say, she's got experience in multiple forms of in ring combat and, of course, that international experience as well, hyping up her. Uh, her confidence level as Dorada with a diving chop puts Valkyrie down in the corner. Yeah, you wanted to make fun of oh, drop kick. You wanted there. to make fun of the native dance earlier. Now you're starting to get it and understand it on a physical level there. Rolls through after stopping, takes aim, shoots the arrow, and lands her target bullseye. Excellent flurry of moves there by Desi Dorada, who now drags Taya back out into the middle of the ring with a knee in the midsection, goes for the pin, a unique pin style there, but that is not keep her down. Well, let me enlighten you a little bit there, Burnham. That is part of the MMA training right there. That is what you call in jiu-jitsu. It's simple but effective. That was a knee on belly. She would put all of her pressure down on the sternum there. It was, a, it was surprising to me that Taya was even able to kick out. And I don't know if you caught it there, but Dorada with a symbolic slicing of the forehead as if to indicate that she is to her. scalp yes. Valkyrie at some point in this match as she turns Valkyrie over, single leg Boston Crab. No, 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 that's not the single leg Boston Crab. That is the single leg native crab. I stand corrected as she now breaks and just simply sits down on the back of Valkyrie, one way or the other, no matter what you call it, it applies pressure to the back and the knees. God, look oh at the God. strength. Yeah. Look at Desi's strength. Absolute power there by Dorada, who just muscles Taya Valkyrie over. And Valkyrie is a strong woman on her own. She could not counter that move. Desi's unbelievable, let me tell you. She is an unbelievable and specimen. To their credit, both of these women have actually been able to negate Marty Bell, who's been trapped on the outside while Dorada and Valkyrie continue to compete here. Bell has really got to get herself literally back into this match and may not have an opportunity as that spin slam by Dorada comes so close to getting a three count there. Now right back to work, there's Desi not giving Ty enough time to recuperate. Oh, now just look at the, the disrespect on the part of, of That's Dorada. not disrespectful, she's just shoving her face down in the canvas. How is that not disrespectful? I mean, what do you mean how is that not disrespectful? They're in a competition, Burnham, what are you talking about? Acting as if this is supposed to be touch football or something. 
Trust me, there's enough flags out there being thrown this season. We don't have those here. Instead, we have just the unmasculating pepper of Desi Dorada taking down Taya Valkyrie. That can do it right here. That very well could. But again, Dorada with that ring presence. We saw Marty Bell trying to make her way back in. Negated that, and that may have cost her right there. If she'd been able to execute, this would have been a one-on-one -on -one match, and she had executed that move and went for the pin immediately, I think it's very possible that Dorada could be having her hand raised in victory right now. Possible and more than likely, but a power Beautiful slam. Beautiful scoop power slam by Dorada, but still some energy left inside Taya Valkyrie and the frustration now beginning to mount. And speaking of mounting, look at Marty Bell going that top rope, coming off the top with a cross body, puts down Dorada, but Dorada kicks out before the referee can even count one. Oh, I'm looking at her break through the clothesline. Marty Bell in again. Yeah, barely registering these clotheslines from Bell. <laughs> I told you this is a warrior. Oh, no. She registered that. Big spear there by Bell. Bell now going for the cover of Dorada. Hooks the leg. And no, not good enough there. Bell now finds herself with two prone opponents. She's got to pick one, and she's going to stay on Dorada. But Valkyrie, sensing an opportunity as well, slips in and picks up Dorada. That uh, just goes to show you the biggest threat in the match is Desi. And now some teamwork here by Valkyrie and Dorada, just like we saw at the beginning. Oh, yeah, now this is ridiculous here. Well, this is going to wear down Dorada, but then which one of them is going to take the pin? You can only have one winner in this type of a match. Dorada getting a, an interesting rear view there. And now just running straight on, those knees coming onto the shoulders as Bell catches Dorada, drops her with an eating tee. Bell, oh, 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 yes. You can't have two winners in this match, ladies. One pinfall to a finish. Why well, the referee even started counting as well, beyond the shoulders were down, they, they both... It doesn't matter, there's only one winner. You can't have two people win one match. I understand that point. At that point, I think it would have been the referee's judgment to see who would have been oh, the yes. winner. But well, oh, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter because Dorada back in control of this match. Absolutely, it's irrelevant at this point. The double clothesline and now the back suplex spinning power. And with complete ease, Dorada running Valkyrie around in circles. And Marty Bell, only thing to keep this match alive now. And Dorada says, get out of here. But Valkyrie with the school girl. No, no, no. And Valkyrie picks up the win. And winner of this match, Taya Valkyrie. Well, Taya only got it at the most opportune time.